Pemirsa banjo, instrumen petik yang biasa terdengar di musik country, bluegrass atau folk yang merupakan musik rakyat di Amerika berakar dari perpaduan budaya kulit hitam dan kulit putih di Amerika Serikat bagian selatan. Banjo buatan tangan produksi sebuah bengkel di pinggiran Memphis, Tennessee memikat para peminat musik, kolektor, serta wisatawan dari berbagai penjuru dunia. Dan pemirsa nantinya informasi ini sekaligus mengakhiri jumpa kita pagi hari ini akhir kata mewakili seluruh kerabat kerja yang bertugas. Saya Valencia Melvinsi. Dan saya Abdi Azwar Sahi, kami pamit undur diri pemirsa. Jangan kemana-mana usai jeda, program editorial media Indonesia akan hadir menyapa Anda. Tetaplah bersama kami. Really, the banjo is the American instrument. And it was made by both black and white cultures came together to produce this instrument. Selama beberapa dekade terakhir, Christian Stanfield memproduksi banjo bersama mentornya Tom George dari bengkel mereka di dekat Memphis, Tennessee. Pengunjung bisa melihat bagaimana rumitnya pembuatan yang semuanya dilakukan dengan tangan. There are two distinct parts. There's the round part, which we call the rim. It's actually called the pot when it's got all of its parts on it. The rim is just the wood part. But you have the round part and you have the straight part. And they're made separately. Badan terdiri dari beberapa lapis kayu. I will resaw it into smaller pieces like this. And I'll put it in a steam box and the steam will make it very soft. And then I will put it in this form and it will actually be able to bend without breaking. It'll bend around this. And I will put one layer inside and another layer inside. I take it out, I glue it all together. When it comes out, it will look something like this. Tom George adalah salah satu pembuat banjo paling terkenal di Amerika. Bertahun-tahun lalu ia mengajarkan Christian seluk beluk membuat banjo. Saat itu Christian baru pindah dari Washington DC dan datang ke sebuah pesta dan rakyat. Banjo seketika menarik perhatiannya. I fell in love with the banjo. I really wanted to learn that new instrument. So I borrowed a banjo from him for two or three months. And um, when I was ready to get a banjo of my own, he recommended Tommy to me. He said, you know, don't buy a banjo on the internet or in a store. You can actually, there's a guy in um, Fayette County who builds them. I just like to make things and uh, uh, woodworking, banjos, uh, furniture. Saat Christian memintanya untuk jadi mentor, ia langsung setuju. I would come over and his wife would cook dinner and we would eat dinner and then we would go out in the shop and work for a couple of hours. And in three months, I had a banjo that I had made myself. Tom sendiri belajar membuat banjo secara otodidak. I wanted a banjo when I was a teenager and so I'm, I mowed yards around my neighborhood to raise money and, and I bought a banjo. One that I bought which wasn't very good and I said maybe I can improve it so I started trying to improve that one. Perlu waktu 4 hingga 6 bulan untuk membuat satu banjo karena butuh presisi skala militer agar kualitasnya prima.